You have probably never used the words mousetrap and car in the same sentence before. In this activity, however, we're going to see how a mousetrap can actually be used to power a car. You're going to see how the stored energy in a mousetrap spring can be captured and used to move a car forward. To build the car, locate the following materials. Compressed springs and rubber bands are two examples of how mechanical energy can be stored and then used to perform work. We're ready to begin construction of a vehicle. To start, locate the two balsa side rails and balsa deck top. Center the deck top between the two side rails and then glue the deck in place. Allow the glue to dry. After the glue is dry, you're ready to add the axles. Place the 6-inch brass axles through the front and rear set of the pre-drilled axle holes in the frame. Place a metal thrust washer followed by a single black rubber spacer on each axle. The spacers should be positioned about 1 and 1 4th inches from the ends of the axles. If you have trouble adding the spacer, you can add a small amount of dish soap on the axle to help it slip into position. One note about the axles. They should spin freely without binding on the frame. There should also be a small amount of side-to-side -side play between the axle and the frame. It's important to center the axle and adjust the side-to-side -side play by moving the inner rubber spacers along the axle. We're ready to attach the wheels to your vehicle. First, insert a black rubber DVD spacer into the center hole of each DVD wheel. Next, position the wheels at each of the axles by firmly pushing the rubber spacer and gently rocking back and forth. If the washer will not slide onto the axle, try using some more dish soap on the axle. Next up is the lever arm. Using a pair of needle nose pliers or a wire cutter, cut the snapper arm at the corner on the side where the mousetrap spring is pushing against the snapper's arm. Remove the mousetrap's locking bar and save it for the next step. After you have cut the snapper arm of the mousetrap, you're ready for the next step. Using a pair of pliers, straighten the non-loop end of the locking bar and then slide it all the way into one end of the thin 12 by 1 8 inch brass lever arm. Super glue this to hold it in place. After the glue is dried, you're ready to move on. Slide the other end of the lever arm over the mousetrap's cut snapper arm, making sure the tube slides under the mousetrap's spring arm at the base of the snapper. Do not apply glue. The law of conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. 
but it merely changes in form. It's time to attach the mousetrap. The front of the mousetrap and the vehicle is determined by the direction the snapper arm is pointed when the mousetrap spring is not under tension. On the top of the deck lid, position the back end of the mousetrap 10 and 1 fourth inches from the drive axle. The mousetrap should sit towards the side of the frame so that the lever arm is positioned along the center axis of the vehicle. Super glue the mousetrap in position. After the glue is dried, we can now attach the axle hook. Tighten the small zip lock around the center of the drive axle by inserting the thin end of the zip tie through the clasp and then pulling it tight. Use a pair of scissors or a hobby knife to trim the excess zip lock flush with the clasp. Next, place a couple of drops of super glue on the zip clasp to bond it with the drive axle. To calculate the speed of your mousetrap vehicle, you should use the formula S equals D over T, which is distance divided by time. It's now time to attach the string. Tie one end of the string to the locking bar loop sticking out from the tip of the lever arm. Measured from the tip of the lever arm, the string should be just long enough to reach the drive axle or even a little shorter. Tie a loop knot in the free end of the string so that the loop will just reach the axle hook. We're ready to race the car. Attach the loop of the hook on the drive axle. Wind the string around the drive axle by turning the wheels in the opposite direction of the vehicle's intended motion. As the string is wound around the axle, the snapper's lever arm is pulled closer to the drive axle. This causes the mousetrap spring to wind up and store energy. When you have completely wound the string, position your vehicle on a smooth, flat surface. To launch the mousetrap car, simply release the drive wheels. Congratulations on finishing the mousetrap vehicle. But we all know that just racing the car is not enough. You want to win. I've got a few top secret performance pointers that'll help you make the vehicle reach its top race speed. Are you ready? Here they are. Number one, do not put slack in the string as it's being wound around the drive axle. The string should be pulled tightly by the mousetrap's lever as it's wound around the axle. Here's top secret tip number two. The string should just be long enough to reach from the tip of the lever arm to the drive axle's hook. If the string is too long, it will not fully unwind from the drive axle, causing it to tangle around the drive axle and stop the vehicle's motion. Our next secret race tip. Graphite powder will reduce the friction on moving parts where it is applied. This will cause the vehicle to move farther and faster. Use the powder on all moving parts that touch one another. Ready for the next tip? Here it is. If you have a vehicle that is spinning out at the start, you can try the following trick. Cut out the middle section of a balloon so that it forms a band that can be stretched around the outer edge of the wheel. Use this only on the drive wheels in order to keep the rotation inertia low. Want some extra speed right before you hit the starting line? Here's a tip. Wrap some masking tape around the drive axle. A thicker drive axle will generate more torque and speed. Make sure that each wrap of tape is smooth and tight. You will have to attach a new axle hook over the tape. 
If your vehicle starts to spin out, then you can remove some of the tape layers. Our final tip. On many courses, steering can be a big problem, and there are several reasons why this is. Number one, the course may be sloped or have bumps that throw off a vehicle's line of travel. A vehicle's axles may not be aligned with one another, causing it to drift towards one direction. Unless your vehicle has adjustable steering, there is little that can be done to change the alignment of the assembled vehicle. My advice? Learn to play the curve. If a car curves to the right, start the car on the right-hand side of the course and aim it towards the left side in order to obtain the largest possible arc of travel. Determine where to start your racer along the starting line in which direction it should be aimed in order to get the best results. This concludes the Mousetrap Vehicle Basic Activity. If you would like to investigate other activity kits, check out our website at www.pitsco.com.